Guys, I have to apologize to you. In my last video, I made a mistake, a big one. I forgot to check the core count of the CPU, in this case, the Ryzen 7 5800X, that was set properly, since uh, when I use uh, the BIOS, uh, the uh, when I tune the BIOS, I originally used the 5600X, I saved the profile with the memory profile and everything, but then to run this test uh, in my latest video, I uh, load that profile and it's a beta BIOS, so uh, the error was just, uh, uh, when I load that profile, I don't know why, don't ask me why, but uh, the BIOS turned down two cores of the 5800X, uh, so I was running six core, 12 threads, and that means that uh, I generated less heat than, the, than with a proper BIOS setting, so I forgot to check that details, it's a big details, I check everything as always, but, well, just, I slipped on that detail, and I say, and I'm sorry about that. But now it's time to make it right. So I'm going to test the rear configuration with eight core, 16 threads. Okay, now, as you can see, I have placed the thermal camera right here in the first uh, VRM, and that is the point that it gets uh, the maximum temperature. So you can see it is at 41 degrees at idle, and I'm about to start the test. So same test as uh, the last video. And you can check the stats here. Now I'm running eight threads, uh, uh, 16 threads, eight core. So this time is the right one. Now, as you can see, the temperature on the first VRM is going up and up, 90 degrees, 91. And we are just uh, running the test. Uh, let's put like this so we can check the frequency. It's like what, 30 seconds, we are like already at 100 degrees. It's going up. The frequency is still okay at this point, so we are at almost 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, this will be the same if I use a Crosshair 8, so at now the board is fine, but it's not going to stay this way. That, uh, that is the point of this video, to show you that with this motherboard and the 8 core 16 threads, it doesn't work as it's supposed to be, as it should be since it's compatible, yes, but for gaming, light, trading application, but when you start pushing the, all the eight cores and 16 threads, uh, the VRAM section is not tough enough to handle it. So as we can see, we are 126 degrees. And uh, yes, now the frequency will drop in a second. So we have 128. Okay, check this out. See, from hardware info, you can see that was trigger the thermal throttling here and here. So now the frequency is okay, but as soon as the temperature goes at 128, and it is dangerous since uh, it is above the specs, to protect themselves, the system turned down the frequency to 500 megahertz to cool down a bit the VRM and then go back to the frequency that is supposed to run. But then again, when the temperature is spiking again, like now, so 124, okay, and we go back to 500 megahertz. The benchmark still run, the system is working, but we have a big drop in performance. And I measured uh, the score of the benchmark, and it's like you're losing like uh, between 50% of performance, something like that, between 30% and 50% of performance. So and I'm worried about the long-term uh, reliability of the system, since uh, if you do this on a daily basis uh, uh, for days, weeks, months, or years, I'm not sure that the board will resist this kind of pressure. Now I'm running Tomb Raider, and as you can see, we don't have any issue at all with the VRM. We are at uh, 66 uh, degrees, so here you can see it better. We are at uh, 65 degrees. Our GPU, that is a uh, GeForce uh, GTX 1660 Super, so a nice one for 1080p. I'm running at 1080p right now, high details and the CPU is sitting at 99%, and the CPU can uh, go up to 40, 4800 megahertz and something, so it's, it's boosting as it should be, so the CPU is working. So in gaming, it's safe to say that uh, this motherboard can run this 8-core without any issue, and the temperature are at 64, 65 degrees, so very, very safe and way beyond the limit. 
All right, guys. Uh, after seeing that, uh, my opinion of this motherboard doesn't change. It's still a good motherboard, especially if you're a gamer. If you're a gamer, you can use it, the 8 core, but uh, it's more likely that you're going to use a 5600X on this type of mo motherboard, of this type of system for the price, uh, to, be, to have a balanced uh, build. And uh, yes, with a 5600X or even a 5800X, you can play game very nicely. You can do a, a light... Uh, uh, video editing stuff and such, but uh, with a 8 core, 16 threads and above, uh, again, I'm not recommending you to use it on it on this board if you do mainly rendering of, uh, or if you do a lot of rendering, since uh, it's not safe uh, to drive the VRM, uh, pushing the limit, going back and down to keep the temperature. So maybe it will last uh, 10 years, or maybe you will broke the motherboard in less than one year. I don't know, we don't know, but... Uh, I have to tell you what I think about it that uh, for me is not safe. So if you have this type of build, this uh, motherboard, and you want to upgrade to the 6 core, perfect. If you want to upgrade to the 8 core, well, games only or light uh, video editing or uh, light uh, traded applications. All right, for today is everything. And now I'm going back to benchmarking this build and the other build uh, with the uh, well, World of Warcraft, uh, Shadowlands, Raid, uh, have a lot of stuff uh, coming out. So, uh, well, hit subscribe if you want to see all the follow-ups that I'm doing here. Hit the like button if you like this video. And sorry again for uh, the misinformation of my past video. But, uh, well, I try every time to give you the right information. And uh, I will keep you posted on what is going on around here. And see you in the next one.